This is Anoop, um, and this is a video I'm making to launch Bruno. Um, Bruno is an open source API client. Um, before I head further, you know, uh, there are already open source API clients like um, Somnia and Hopscotch, and this is just a slide about what are the different things that uh, Bruno does differently. But instead of going through each and every point, I want to go around two key points of why I'm actually building Bruno. The first thing is that um, Bruno is aimed at building an end-to-end -end open source platform that companies can self-host to enable developers to collaborate on API collections. Now, let me show you this picture. So this is you know, the state of the current ecosystem. We have uh, you know, Insomnia and Hopscotch. These are the two popular uh, open source clients but uh, both of them do not have their uh, sync server which is an open source and you know uh, sync server is needed for team collaboration um, things like you know merging your collections sharing it across uh, your team members uh, exploring for visibility you need you need a sync server and um, currently there's no there's no uh, project that's actually open source the sync server so bruno is aiming to do that i've gotten a decent client working and uh, I've already started work on the sync server. Uh, both of these projects are on GitHub. I'm going to um, you know, proceed uh, building the sync server. Um, I'll show you a quick demo of this. So Bruno is actually available on the web. So you can just go to play.usebruno.com and you should be able to access it. I'm going to delete the sample collection that I have here. And you just need to click on uh, load sample collection. You will have a sample collection loaded and you can actually uh, run requests and you know, uh, play with it. Uh, it also has support for environments. I'm not going to demo it in this video though. Um, so that was the first part. Uh, the second part is uh, bring your own version control. Um, most or all the uh, API clients out there, uh, they prefer to use their custom built versioning system to support um, you know, uh, team collaboration. Bruno in the future is will also have its versioning system, but um, what I want to do with Bruno is not to tie up developers to use a specific versioning system. And uh, so what Bruno does is that it allows you to have uh, local collections. Local collections are nothing but collections that directly reside on your file system. And what we do is uh, it is exactly uh, the collection structure, which is the collection is basically a set of folders and files or requests. Uh, these get, uh, the requests get mapped to files and the, um, the folders get mapped to folders. So, uh, and let me show you how that actually looks in kind of the folder structure here. And so what this allows is that um, instead of having like in Postman, you have a single file uh, which stores your collection, we can actually map it like that, like this, so that, you know, you don't have to, um, you can directly use whatever your preferences for version control, like get. And I'll show you a quick demo. So here uh, I have this local collection already, and I'm going to create a new folder called as, let's say, um, uh, let's say, hello, right? And I'm just gonna click on create. And I'm just gonna copy this URL here. And I'm going to go to hello, and I'm just gonna click on that, and save that, and run that, that worked. So we should expect a file called hello to have been created here, right? So under rest countries, you have something called hello here, right? Now, it also works you know, the other way. So if I go and change something here, if I make this hello too, and save it, and if I go back, that's hello too there. Um, we use the node module called Chokidar to actually, you know, listen to listen to the file event changes and get it reflected here. Um, so those are the two two main goals of Bruno. Uh, I have the website up and running at usebruno.com. You have the live demo, and uh, the project is open sourced under the MIT license in GitHub. I look forward to your uh, feedback and comments. Um, and thank you for watching.